All right, so we have our uh, session IPA we just made today. I'll, I'll transfer it into our conical fermenter. We got this nice uh, refrigerator that we set up as our fermentation cabinet. So I have a uh, heat belt on the side here. We have our blow-off tubing right down into a bucket of water here. Um, and I have a nice temperature uh, controller. And this is set at uh, 68 degrees. Um, this is in Celsius right now. Got a good deal on this on eBay, you know, 99 cents, can't beat it. Um, so, you know, 20 degrees Celsius um, is, um, is 68 degrees. And uh, got that set. And uh, since our chiller worked really, really, really well, refrigerator's not on. So, um, with the temperature probe that this has, it's going to control the temperature of the beer. Temperature control is your friend. You want to make sure that yeast does not get too hot, does not get too cold. If you have the optimal temperature for your yeast to work, your beer will finish quicker and it just be more enjoyable. You can get it ready and go. And uh, uh, at the bottom of this, um, this is a yeast catcher that we picked up. Um, I haven't really, we haven't really used it as a yeast catcher, um, but this will just catch everything and collect all the hops and everything as it drops, drops down the conical. So we have it open right now. So in a couple hours, this will start all breaking up and you'll see beer, then you'll see the yeast all active. It's pretty fun, pretty cool, something to, something to look at. Um, but uh, when it's time, you know, everything, as everything falls, it drops, it's just another spot that this will drop all into. I can take that out of there with all the solids um, from all the massive dry hopping that we're going to do. So that's what we have and uh, there we go. And we just shut this door and uh, let the temperature probe do its work. Alright guys, we'll see you when we keg this beer.